every Christmas, my dad makes the whole family stand up to watch the Queen's speech. Lee's team, what do you think? How many is in your family? Uh, there's uh, two uh, brothers and sisters, and then two parents. You look like you're lying about that. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to remember. <laughs> so he makes what? five of you all stand for the Queen's speech. We all stand. Not we just the national anthem at the beginning, the actual... The whole speech. speech. So when it goes on, we're all, you know, come on, hurry up, old woman. The, uh, <laughs> old woman. He doesn't like us referring to her as that either. Right. We stand is that, up. Is that the only thing on Christmas Day that's got some sort of physical challenge out <laughs> to it? Or do you have to hop through Indiana yeah. Jones? Or <laughs> through the Queen's. <laughs> They're just the standing for the for the Queen's speech. But why why would that be? I mean, I know he's why he's quite old fashioned. He's living in a kind of like time warp. He's quite an, he's quite an old dad, um, and he's one of those people like he'll buy spam and sit in the cellar because he misses the Blitz. He's like <laughs> he, he's in, still thinks he's living in a bygone era. How old is he, Jack? Uh, he's sixty nine today, actually. And how old are you? Uh, 20. So, ba so basically, if you're, if you're 20 and your dad's 69, at the point that he conceived you, he must have thought, there is a significant risk that this will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, are you allowed to speak during the, the speech at all, or is it very much, this is 50 minutes of silence? Did you say 50? Did you say 50 minutes of silence? Is that the director's 15. cut? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's 10 at most, and they pad it out with music and handshaking. Yeah. In terms of acting, actual facts she's conveying, it's still five and a half minutes, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. And she talks slowly. <laughs> she's bad at it. It's a shit programme. <laughs> did, you, did you see that when the Queen met Obama and then everyone was... It was amazing, you saw her face just thinking, please don't talk to my husband. <laughs> well, Obama said about the Queen that he thought that she was surprisingly knowledgeable about politics and she was clearly thinking, Nelson Mandela's looking well. <laughs> So, Lee, what are, you, what, are you, what are you thinking? What do you think, Frankie? Well, it sort of depends on how posh we think he is. I think Jack is quite posh. He is quite posh, isn't he? He sounds like a Korean man begging for help after a traffic accident. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that, <laughs> that almost incomprehensible poshness about him. <laughs> Sorry, is that what comes from that poshness to you <laughs> more than anything else? An yeah. injured Korean? <laughs> Sounds to you incredibly <laughs> posh. To be honest, I can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> do you, Jack? Do you get to a point where you're so posh that you do without hairbrushes? I, <laughs> <laughs> I found my depth sometimes in because uh, uh, those protest things where they go on the marches and stuff. I did. Uh, the only one I've ever been on was fox hunting. And there were people going around saying, you know, oh, this is a real cause, and you know, there are more names on the pro fox hunting petition than there are on the anti one. Yeah, because most people that sign it have triple-barrelled surnames. <laughs> Foxes are the great way to tell class, aren't they? Because if, if you see a fox in your back garden, if you're upper class, you get on a horse and chase it. If you're a middle-class person, you get your children to do a picture of it. Maybe send it to Blue Peter. If you're, if you're working class, you beat it to death with a shovel and use it to make soup. <laughs> So, Lee, it's time to come down on one side or the other. So, what do we think? Is he telling the truth? I think, yeah, he's probably telling the truth. Do you think? Yeah. Mm, I think he's posh enough to be telling the truth. Yes, yeah, so we think he's telling the truth. You, they're saying it's the truth. Jack, are you telling the truth or are you telling them a big lie? It is, I'm going to stand, true. <laughs> Every Christmas, Jack's dad does make the whole family stand up to watch the Queen's speech. My father made us stand one Christmas. He'd pawned our sofa to pay his gambling.